So you've got David Silva on your fantasy team. In the first round, he actually beats Kaino Igarashi and Connor Coffin to get to the round of 32. Your friends are like, whoa, dude, I didn't see that coming. You're feeling pretty good about your fantasy pick, except for one thing. You got zero fantasy points. Today we're going to talk about scoring, and more specifically, three random secrets hidden in the rule book. I think it's going to help you get to the top of the leaderboard, and guess what else? It's really simple. So let's break it down. Hey everybody, this is Old Surf Dad. So what you're going to want to do is head over to the World Surf League website. In the upper left, you're going to click on the fantasy web page, and you're going to head down to fantasy serving rules. And we're going to want to slide down to this section where it talks about scoring. So number one is scoring, and I'm going to read this sentence. It's real simple. If a surfer on your team scores 15.05 in a heat, you'll get 15.05 fantasy points. In the past and in other leagues, I remember depending on where they place or which round it is, that's what the score is. But I like that in World Surf League, the score that the surfer gets is the score that you'll get. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to pick surfers that get high scores. Let's talk about Shane Beshin at Kira, if anyone remembers that, or... Owen Wright at Fiji. Um, I remember him scoring two back-to-back tens. Kelly Slater anywhere, but more specifically backdoor. So um, you also have an opportunity if you want to geek out and do some money ball. You can check out which surfers have the highest average total points. And I think that might be John or Gabriel Medina. But um, I'm not sure. And I don't do that. I just kind of try to remember or remember who does well at certain events. But anyway, there's an opportunity for you if you're into it. But I think number one, and that's important to start with that, is that the surfer score that you pick is the score that you get. Moving on is power surfers. And I think that's uh, a good thing to talk about. I think everyone knows you get double the points. But if you pick a surfer that gets high scores and they are power surfer that doubles that, then you're going to make your way to the top of the leaderboard. Um, Now, the next one is what I started this at the top of this video, and that is team lock deadlines. For those of you that don't know, scoring doesn't even start until the men's round of 32 and the women's round of 16. So the first heats and the elimination round don't even count. You don't get any scores for those. So no matter what a legend you are picking up sets, they don't matter. The scoring actually starts in the men's round of 32 and the women's round of 16. Um, I think the other thing that's important there, and I, I think most people know this, is that you can change your team. If you see someone doing well, you can mix it up. You can put them in. So it doesn't, the scoring does not actually start until that third round. All right, and finally, we're going to go down to progressive scoring. And this is number three, progressive scoring, scoring, storing, scoring. (laughs) Um, What you're going to want to do here is know this information. The multipliers will increase by 10 percentage points from event to event. So in other words, as the season goes on, each event is worth 10% more. So if you did really well at Pipeline, um, don't claim too hard because this next event, which is now Newcastle, is going to count for 10% more. And then the event after that, Narrabeen, will be 10% more and so on. So if you had a shocker at Pipeline, um, you're still in the game. What you want to do is not suck at the end of the season. I mean, you don't want to suck at all, but try not to suck at the end. And I think I like this because you can build momentum just like surfers build momentum. Um, So that's it. Those are three secrets that you probably didn't know. Um, If you like this video, if this video helped you in any way, 
go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me for live broadcasts as I do my picks, as I talk about things like this, please subscribe. I'm going to start doing um, live streams, and I'd love to get you all in on the conversation. And what we'll do is have a live chat, and we'll talk about some of this and other things. What are your strategies? And tell me in the comments below, uh, what are your strategies in terms of this and how much do you geek out? Do you do Moneyball? Do you do analytics? Um, I'd love to hear about all that. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Old Surf Dad. Appreciate you. Peace.